In this video, we will be going over the following problem. The figure below contains three semicircles, ABC, ADB, and BEC, and one right triangle. Which is greater, the area of the green shaded region or the area of the blue shaded region? To begin, let's start by finding the area of the green shaded region. And the way we're going to do this is first by finding the area of the entire figure that is the area of the right triangle plus the area of semicircle ADB plus the area of semicircle BEC. And from that total area, we're gonna subtract the area of semicircle ABC. And notice that if we do that, what we're left with is the green shaded region. And so just to be more clear, here's a visual representation of the calculation we're gonna be doing. So here's a scaled down version of our figure. And you can see that we're first gonna find the area of the entire figure and from that, we're going to subtract the area of semicircle ABC. And in this figure on the left, I've drawn in that semicircle with some dashed lines, just so it's more clear that when we remove this area by doing the subtraction, what we're left with is the green shaded region in our original figure. So as outlined in the figure on the right, in order to find the area of the green shaded region, let's start by finding the area of the entire figure. Let's begin by finding the area of this right triangle. It, is, it has one leg that is of length x and another that is of length y. So its area will be x times y over two. Now for the area of semicircle ADB, it has a diameter of x, so its radius will be x over two, which means that its area will be pi times x over two squared over two because it's a semicircle. And then as for the area of semicircle BEC, it's pretty similar. This semicircle has a diameter of y, and so it has a radius of y over two. So its area will be pi times y over two squared over two, since this is also a semicircle. And so what's inside these two parentheses is the area of the entire figure. And so now as illustrated in our figure, we need to subtract the area of semicircle ABC to do that, we'll first need to find its radius. We know that this is a right triangle and that one leg is x and one leg is y. So if we apply the Pythagorean theorem, we should be able to get this third side, AC, which turns out to be the semicircle's diameter. And so if we apply the Pythagorean theorem, we get that the length of AC is the square root of x squared plus y squared. And so if the square root of x squared plus y squared is the diameter of semicircle ABC, its radius is the square root of x squared plus y squared over two, which means that its area will be pi times the square root of x squared plus y squared over two squared. Because once again, what's inside these parentheses is the radius of semicircle ABC and all of this over two, since ABC is also a semicircle. And if we simplify this a little bit, we get that the area of the green region is x times y over two plus pi times x squared over eight plus pi times y squared minus, and then for this term right here, the squared term eliminates the square root. So what we have in the numerator is pi times x squared plus y squared over eight. And so you can see here that the minus pi x squared over eight term cancels with the plus pi x squared over eight. And the same is true for the minus pi y squared over eight term over here and the plus pi y squared over eight term. And so in the end, this term, this term, and this term will all cancel. And what we're left with is that the area of the green region is x times y over two. Now that we have the area of the green region, which is by far the more complicated one out of the way, let's find the area of the blue region. The blue region is just a right triangle, and so the area of the blue region is also x times y over two. And so you can see that the area of the green region is actually equal to the area of the blue region. And that's what's so fascinating about this problem. The fact that the area of the green shaded region which is composed of these two irregular moon-like shapes, which are called loons, is equal to the area of the triangle, which is a much more linear figure. 